What's up, everybody? This is Michael Davis, aka HR Black. Merry New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to the HR Black Experience right here on the PW Hustle Zone. But first, I want to start off by saying thank you for for making 2018 one of my one of my memorable memorable years I ever had. From all the support on social media, all the support on YouTube, from me continue to do what I, what I want, what I like to do, and get some of my creati creativity to everybody on, on YouTube, from my, my trippy videos to my funny moments videos, thank God for all the support, and 2019, this, this is going get, to get, get better for me, and I'm very confident, confident that I have a lot of, a lot of big, big things going on on YouTube, hopefully I continue to make you guys uh, happy. Make team, make you guys uh, laugh and entertained by my creativity, creativity and my opinions on professional wrestling. But without further ado, let's talk about the big news that happened hours after midnight, after the ball drop. All League Wrestling has been confirmed. It's official. After all the rumors, all the speculation, all the hints from uh, being, being elite and all over Twitter, Social media is now confirmed that all all the wrestling is a real thing, and not only that, we also gotta have all all in two in Las Vegas, and gotta be they gotta be named Double or Nothing. Now, with the with the huge success that Cody Rose and Young Bucks had with all in, you just knew that they gotta have something else under their sleeve, bigger and better. And this is it right here. All League Wrestling, all into double or nothing in Las Vegas. And you can't help you can't help but to just respect the gratitude and the the hard work ethic from both the Young Bucks and Cody Rose. I mean, we can we can talk trash about the Young Bucks and Cody Rose all we want, call them whole ass bitches. But at the end of the day, we have none but respect for them. And number and the respect they had, I, we have for them for making all in possible, making Starcast possible, and now all in a possibility, make it being a a big deal in 2019. Now a lot of things, uh, a lot of questions uh, surrounding all in, uh, all the wrestling. They gotta be multi-year contracts. We know that uh, the Col Cody, the Young Bucks, Hangman Page, and SEU. Cash, Daniels, and Scorpio Sky are all part of all the wrestling, and of course Brandy Rose too. You know, can't 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 forget about that. But what what's gonna happen with Cody? What, what what's gonna happen with Kenny Omega? And what's gonna happen with Morris Girl? Now, I I know that Morris Girl is still signed with Wayne, Wayne Warner, but we don't know if he's gonna be working for both for both Wayne Warner and all all the wrestling. I do know for a fact that it's probably not, it's probably not gonna be you no know, villain enterprises on AEW, because I think that both Brody King and PCO are exclusive to Ring Warner, and I don't know if they gonna allow them to work for all the wrestling. I know that um, Bandito was approached by the Young Bucks and Cody to sign with all the wrestling, but they turned he, turn, he turned him down to sign with an exclusive deal with um, Ring Warner. And they also, Wayne Warner also signed uh, Mark Hask Haskins, and I don't know if he gonna be part of All League Wrestling too. And as far as you know, King Omega, I I don't I don't we really don't know what's going on, going on with him because you know, if you watch being Elite the past um, couple of months, you you notice that both Morris Girl and King Omega didn't have any didn't have any like you know time on their phones when. Uh, leading up to the, the announcement, and you know, a lot of people saying, "Oh, um, King Omega is gonna be going to WWE, or he gonna be, you know, staying in New, New Japan." But at the end, end of the day, I I do see King Omega staying in New Japan, but him working for both New Japan and All the Wrestling is kind of up the up in the air, because it's, it's all gonna lead up to all, all the all, all the possibilities of. What what's next with King Omega after Wrestle Kingdom after New Year's Dash? 
is I, I can't even put it in word, words. It is just all the possibilities are, are endless. It, it, and whatever happens to Kenny Omega, it gotta be uh, it gotta be a, a, a big move for Kenny Omega, to be honest. With with or without the IWGB Heavyweight Championship. Now, there's no TV deal yet. I know there's people uh, saying that oh Jim Walsh gonna be uh, on on commentary for Access TV for All Elite Wrestling, but that's not the case. Uh, what I'm hearing, there's no TV deal yet, but it, ha it has been offers on the table for a TV deal for All Elite Wrestling. Another thing. Chris Jericho rumor is rumored to be signed with All Elite Wrestling, but that's not that's not true. It's been confirmed that he's not signed with with All Elite Wrestling. He's not signed with anyone. He's still a free agent. He's still wrestling for New Japan. Quite possibly wrestling uh, in the uh, WWE near, near future, but we don't know. But you know, I I do expect them to have uh, Chris Jericho on All Elite Wrestling when it first start when it starts taking off. Maybe uh, have him have a match at uh, double or nothing, all all in two. And you know, a lot of people are questioning. A lot of people are you know, already on the bandwagon, saying that this is it gonna be better than WWE? This is it gonna compete with WWE finally? I don't I don't know about that. Let's see where this goes. Let's see if if it has a purpose. Because everybody's saying it's gonna be way better than WWE, but let's pump the, pump the brakes because we don't know what's what's gonna happen with all the wrestling. Because we know that the Young Bucks and Cody will will gonna be will have gonna have all in a success as a, a wrestling event, but a wrestling promotion and a wrestling event is very different. But I do have faith in Cody Rhodes. I do have faith in the Young Bucks. I do have favor anyone that's gonna be part of this uh, all elite wrestling promotion, but the, saying that it's gonna be uh, better than WWE, like right, right off the bat, you're really pushing it. You, you're speaking too soon right now. Let's just wait until the the actual promotion starts. But if I would, if I'm if I'm uh, man, if I'm Mr. Man in, in his office, I probably second my boots. I probably am uh, concerned and nervous about all elite wrestling taking off and being the, the best thing ever because this is a this is a guy that offered the young bucks and cody seven figure deals million dollar deals to sign with wwe and they turned down if, I, if i'm a victim man i really am thinking about you know updating 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 the anti myself in wwe and make it make it wwe better because we all know they need it and with this whole new era uh, of WWE, fresh start of WWE, maybe they can they can uh, work something out. Maybe they can make it better for make make it make WWE better. But all the wrestling, I I have a feeling that it got to take off real fast. And when it does, WWE got to be in their words. It got to be sticking in their boots because all the wrestling. It's all, all the wrestling has just been is is a big announcement. Start off 2019, start off the month of January with a huge month of wrestling events that have been going on. You have Wrestle Kingdom, you have New Year's Dash, you have Impact Wrestling's uh, Homecoming, you have NT NT UK uh, Takeover Blackpool, Takeover Phoenix, the the Royal Rumble. You have all these great events happening in January. And this announcement just took the cake that Jerry is one of is one without that one of the best months to be a wrestling fan right now. And I hope I wish nothing but the best for everybody uh, from the elite, from SCU, for everybody that could be taking part of all the wrestling. But please let me know down below what's your expectations of, of all the wrestling and what are your thoughts on. Double or nothing, all into in a lot of areas. And look, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and tap that bell on the YouTube app. You miss any of my videos. And once again, happy new year to everybody from the PW Hustle. 
Homie made it, made a group, the Pro Wrestling with Fussin, and the Marsh Podcast, everybody from the A Core, the Huckleberry Club, and the Mad Never Since Seven. Hope you guys have a great 2019 and make 2019 your best. I'm Michael Davis, A Black. I'm out.